Let's catch up on the latest news about the coup in the Capitol. Jeff Plitt here. This is what you need to know. Great news. The horns and fur wearing QAnon shaman is in jail. Apparently he refused to eat until they gave him a special organic diet. But since they don't have organic food in jail, they just made him eat his costume. Ready for some crazy? The latest QAnon conspiracy is that the laptop stolen from Pelosi's office in the Capitol siege was taken by a special forces team under Trump's orders to find evidence of her crimes. It's obviously a pile of QAnon sense. But just in case, I've already got a made-for-TV movie pitch called SEAL Team Hicks ready to go. If it is true, I doubt they'll be able to extract the contents of the laptop when this is Trump Top Hacker. I can't believe how dumb some people are. The leader of the Proud Boys has been arrested after posting a photo of himself smoking in the Capitol building. He faces one year for trespassing, one year for plotting to assassinate the vice president, and 30 years for smoking indoors. This makes my blood boil. Congresswoman and QAnon zombie Lauren Boebert is under investigation for tweeting Nancy Pelosi's location during the insurrection, which rioters, including her own mother, could have used to kidnap Pelosi or worse. Boy, I can't wait for the TV movie they're gonna make about this one. Stop the steal or my mom will overthrow democracy. Looks like insurrections have consequences. Capital rioters have been showing up at airports only to discover they're now on no-fly lists. Wow, what a waste of frequent flyer miles. When Pence heard about this, he said, ooh, can I get on the no-fly list? Finally, in case you missed it, Arnold Schwarzenegger posted a poignant video after the Capitol riots, condemning violence and fascism while holding the sword from Conan the Barbarian. Now, I grew up in Austria. I'm very aware of Kristallnacht or the Night of Broken Glass. Wednesday was the day of broken glass right here in the United States. He followed it up with a shorter video speaking directly to President Trump. Fuck you, asshole. And that's it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you next time on What You Need to Know.